So we're getting ready for a cool front. The East Coast is watching the tropics closely. Right now we've got two areas and this is going to be an interesting one. Something that doesn't happen very often. Two systems trying to form close to each other. That is a headache and a half to forecast. I mean, it can truly be a nightmare to figure out what's going to happen. So Invest 93 is back here. That one's going to be out here for a while. Invest 94, though, is more of a near term thing to watch for the Bahamas in the next few days. They may have a depression or a storm trying to form here and then lifting north. Now, it's hard to say which one of these systems ends up becoming stronger because they are likely going to interact with each other. What happens a lot of time is one of them becomes more dominant and takes over the other feature. Doesn't necessarily mean it blows up into an even bigger storm, but it really complicates the forecast here with the path and the evolution on where everything's going to go. So if I'm anywhere from the Bahamas, even Florida, I'm watching this, but especially the East Coast closer to the Carolinas, you need to follow the forecast closely. There could definitely be a name storm somewhere in here by the end of the weekend and early next week. Our models are showing just that and a really messy forecast too. So our seven day it doesn't include anything tropical, just includes scattered storms today and early tomorrow. Cold front pushes through, drops our temperatures to 85 tomorrow, 87 on Friday, 88 Saturday into Sunday. You'll have cool mornings this weekend in the 60s. Afternoons will be warm, but sunny should be nice outside. I'm